said, we'll be launching the website uh, hopefully sometime tonight or within the next days at least. <laughs> So, uh, it's nice to see you everywhere here. Uh, we have a little uh, technical uh, problems now. Uh, well, interesting weather. It is August, it is about uh, afternoon. I have two jackets on. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, due to uh, a few technical uh, difficulties, we will start. Yeah. So, we are making progress now with our technical uh, stuff. I hope there won't be much more than minutes. <laughs> yeah. Never tell something technical uh, systems that you need it immediately, because then uh, stuff uh, suddenly breaks down. It's uh, just Murphy's Law and and uh, I'm glad I can introduce uh, Daniel Domscheidberg. I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down. We will be running a workshop on the security of leaking websites. And that will mainly be consisting of an, a live test of the OpenLeak system, as well as the system of a couple of other sites right now that are operational, where people can send links, uh, leaks to. Because people are submitting information there, at least they could. The site will be available via IP, so whoever is connected to the internet um, should, should be able to help test that system. And we have agreed with uh, seven other sites, among them the privacy box from the German Privacy Foundation here in Germany, um, KH Leaks, which is run out of South Korea, um, Irish Leaks, State Leaks, and a couple of others that um, for that workshop they would be very happy if a couple of you, all you talented folks here just came by uh, and helped us to look at their site. Find out what kind of security flaws there might be. See if there's anything enabling you to, to break into the system. We have made a list of what kind of detail we think should be looked at. It was actually planned to be running on the campsite here until we found out that for the first time, I'm aware of at least, there is no co-location space. So now they're moving it. We, 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 we do not even work with the content. We, Open Leaks does not even have access to the documents that are sent in. We're working on technical documentation that is documenting our processes and how all of this works out. And right now this is accessible to the partners that we are working with, just because of it. These are just overhead reasons. So you'll have to take my word as much as I know that's not optimal, but that's the only thing I can give for now. We have a box in our tent where we've been collecting a couple of goodies over the last uh, few months. Um, it's a reward box for anyone that helps out. So if you do anything useful on the camp here, related, even slightly related to what we do, there are crypto books in there, there are programming books, we got political books, um, history books, or whatever you're interested in. There's a couple of t-shirts, um, we have uh, coffee, uh, newspaper subscriptions, and similar things. And as I said, whoever has an interest on a bilateral basis can always speak to us about how this works. Just not broadcast information. We are, all of you are so important in how we determine what the future looks like, what the technical side of our future will look like, and what the influence of that technical side will be on the freedoms that we have in society. So we thought, if we bring this up for five days here at the camp, where there probably is the highest density of concentrated hacking talent uh, for this given point in time, and we all tell you to try and break it, you know, try to break our system and show us that you're better than us. Just use it and tell us that the interface is no good. Or, I don't know, whatever. All this kind of feedback is something we want from you. Because we hope that we can leave this camp smarter than when we came. And in the second part of the workshop, uh, all of you will get their own legal time with, uh, in a bit of a privacy. 
generally, that security test that we are planning would, especially if it involves open leaks, would mean that we have to be live. So, um, to who, uh, if that's not obvious yet, it means that open leaks has to be live and it will be live. This might be kind of naive, but if you're short on time for opening the, the software stack, can we just have uh, SSH access to the servers that we're going to review? <laughs> no. No, you can't. Why not? Huh? Why not? Huh? Why not? Huh? Why not? Because, uh, you know, because this is, a, you can't run this like a zoo. Why not? Huh? Even if it's not the production servers, if it's just, you, you know, as a reviewer, if I can SSH into a box, I can say if the production site is configured similar to this. There is no production site yet. Okay. Um, so we're doing it a bit differently now, and it's being finished, and at this afternoon, uh, it will be live at leaks.tuts.de. I had a go for him. Feel motivated to help out, hopefully. In the worst case, we will be all alone in our tent for five days, and no one gives a damn about helping us out. Um, uh, maybe uh, fell into a pit or something like this. This is like the spookiest conference I've been to in a while. You mentioned the German Privacy Foundation, and I don't know if it's true, but I've heard that those guys are just a front for the Defense Intelligence Agency of Germany. We're not partnering with them or anything like that. So what we want is to encourage the partners to help subsidize the platform, so to help uh, 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 paying all the, the fixed costs you have every month. How do you ensure the trustworthiness of the process, giving the possibility that some people are on different tickets in there? Yes. Well, for now, we don't really have to worry about this so much, just because we're a small team. You know, I've, I've been reading about myself that I might be paid by the FBI, you know, which is not the case, but I know that people are spreading... Yeah, but you promised. <laughs> but it's generally, you know, these, these rumors are one thing. And on the other hand, I think we sort of shouldn't, shouldn't be scared just by all these rumors, but because that will in, not enable us to be doing anything either. Yes, paranoia will kill us. I agree, Bigita. One of the things that uh, is, was interesting about WikiLeaks was how you use different laws in different jurisdictions yes. for the advantage. Um, I've seen nothing here so far about how open leaks would do such a thing. There are great, there are really great laws here in Germany protecting the rights of the media when it comes to protecting sources. So you don't have to, you don't have to outsource that to another country. And then the question is, what other third party, third party, uh, third country might be fitting? It's about time to have a party. Uh, we will have a magic show for kids. Markus Komper here. He's going to pull off for all the kids you can find. So, um, where do you put servers? Do you put servers into a data center or do you prefer housing them um, within uh, a newspaper's building, for example? Um, I'm not sure how many of you have worked with journalists before on a technical level, but I can tell you it's hell. JavaScript, 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 JavaScript. And if you look at how that works, actually, it's, com it's a complete nightmare would be much nicer if there was not so much press around. So maybe it's good to put your servers not in a, in a random data center, but with a German newspaper. I just tried to access the link you mentioned on your slide before, yes. the one at touch.net, and it doesn't work. Sorry? Um, what I, I'm trying to find out what is open about open leaks. Where is the code? Well, I had I, hoped that you would use the principle of openness to ensure the integrity and, at the end, the trustworthiness of the whole process. Yes. Um, well, for now, you have not um, convinced me that you're doing that because you're making promises about handling key materials, for example, that I'm asking myself, how can I verify that if you don't have the software online in the form of yes. open source? Yes. Yeah. Hi. I think um, of two major um, problems you encounter. One is the political mm, and one is the yeah how how can you prevent of being tamed by the powers of the world the moment that you misbehave or someone leaks something and it gets published and, and so on and then you got caught to law and pushed to the wall and then you're so busy defending and, and keeping 
your head up the water that you can't do anything practical anymore. I think that will be happening then one day once hmm. you're very successful. Let's not hope so. If you do not have a structure that can make sure that the, the information that people put there, that people upload, that they submit, that sources take a risk for, that, this, that this, these submissions, this material will be used meaningfully, then you're wasting a lot of potential. The problem begins the moment that somebody touches, somebody touches, somebody touches the material. Yeah.